Hello there YouTube, it is your boy B3, back with another kicking graphic novel review. This is one that my grandfather gave me a while back, may he rest in peace. Um, uh, and it's an old book. An old book. It is the Marvel Masterworks, The Fantastic Four, Volume 1. I think this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. It collects the very first ten issues of Fantastic Four. So, the first appearance of all the Fantastic Four members, first appearance of the Scroll, first appearance of Doctor Doom, all in this book. I've read it through a couple times, had to look through it uh, again and read a lot of it before this, but to be honest, I'm not really about it. It's Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, of course. A little history. They made the Fantastic Four because Justice League was doing just so goddamn well. Um, and so Stan Lee and Jack Kirby were told to make a superhero team book. But this, the thing was, Marvel was mostly doing monster books at the time. Which is why the thing is the thing. And why he's so violent and temperamental in these issues is because they were like, if it doesn't work out as a superhero team book, now we can easily transition it into a monster book. And there are also lots of monsters in here as well. Issue 1, when the Mole Man attacks, uh, he has all kinds of weird-looking old monsters attack. And then you have the scrolls uh, in Issue 2. I like, the, I like the way they beat the scrolls where they just trick them. They don't... It was a very... Uh, they beat them with their mind. Uh, Namor is in here. You get to see Namor freaking kidnap Sue Storm. <laughs> and sometimes the faces are a little wonky in this book, just to be completely honest. This artwork is usually consistent, but sometimes the faces are a little wonky. Doctor Doom is really weird. I much prefer modern Doctor Doom. I much... I've never... I'm going to be completely honest. I've never been a big Fantastic Four fan. Even as a kid, I couldn't really get into the Fantastic Four. I've just never been a big Fantastic Four fan. And this comic is a little dated. It's not one I read a lot. Uh, but I have reread it several times. It's several different stories. Because, you know, one issue is a contained story. Just how it used to be before comics became more serialized. But, uh, is it a good book? By today's standards, no. By the standards of when the book was written? Well, that's a different story. You know? That's a much different story. This ran for about twelve ninety five when it came out. Uh... I just, I love it because it reminds me of my grandpa and it's comic book history, but it is very, very dated. So unless you're just a big fan of older comics or want to read some comic book history or are just a huge Fantastic Four fan, maybe it's a pass if you're just a big modern comics guy. Like, the comics I read are mostly 90s onward, and even then some of the 90s stuff is... Eesh. But, uh, that's it. So, The Fantastic Four, Marvel Masterworks, Volume 1. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. This is just a short one, because I didn't want to go through every single story in this book. That's ten different stories. It would take forever. But, yeah, it is very cool. I dig the Mole Man. <laughs> He's my favorite in here. I like how they beat the scrolls. That's probably my favorite issue in this whole thing. That's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all next time.